Let's read what Karm has to say. Um, here's what they say, quote, Though it is true that the church does replace Israel in some areas, such as, and here's their examples, properly representing God on earth, acknowledging the promises of the Messiah, etc. So let me just stop right in the middle of their uh, statement. Notice they say it's true that the church does replace Israel in some areas. So you might even have this... Um, this type of discussion with uh, your average Christian, if you're a messianic, right? Someone who still, um, or someone who has embraced the laws of Moses or returned to the ancient paths or uh, things like that. Um, if you have an, a conversation with your average Christian um, person, then you might hear them say, well, what about, and then they'll say something similar to what Karm just said here. What about um, the fact that Israel has been kind of put in time out. What about the partial hardening, which we're going to look at here in a moment in Romans? What about um, you know Yeshua saying your house has left you desolate? Um, you know you're not going to see me again until you cry, "Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord," and things like that. What about um, the parables of 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 the um, garden owner, uh, you know, the field owner uh, sending tenants, and then uh, those bad tenants were finally dealt with and new tenants were put in place. You know, all of that is obviously um, speaking about some form of s establishing um, a new body of governance uh, where Israel had failed, right? I mean, Yeshua said, uh, I will build my church, right? The, you are Peter, and, and upon this rock, I will build my church, and things like that. So um, we're going to have to talk about those issues. So Karm says there is some replacement going on. Um, and I think that maybe the word replacement is probably a bit um, brash, but uh, I have to agree with I think the, the 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 sentiment that they're trying to express here, I have to agree with that. There's there's maybe I wouldn't use the word replace, but we're, we we do have some um, um, swapping of management, if we want to call it that. So so they say, uh, you know, representing God here on Earth, Judaism has not done a very good job. Israel has. Um, drop the ball in many cases, in many respects, um, acknowledging the promise of Messiah, etc. I mean, obviously, if you turn to Judaism and, and seek um, proper Messianic representation, you're not going to find it at all, really, um, unless you turn to Messianic Judaism and account that as part of proper representation, then yes. But for the most part, the church has really picked up that, um, they picked up that responsibility and run with it. So, and, you know, praise God for that. So they continue. Um, so even though the church has replaced Israel in some areas, it is not biblical to say that God is completely done with Israel and that the Christian church is its complete replacement. So they're trying to be very careful in their wording here, I can tell. Um, they don't want to say replacement theology is is completely done away with, but there are like those some of those examples that I gave that we are going to have to look at. Where how do you explain away that? How do you how do you um, interpret those places where clearly um, a new work is being done, um, a new people group is being worked with? Um, does it mean that the old people group is done away with altogether, or does it mean perhaps maybe it's we're going to find out um, one strong possibility and probability is that Israel is simply in a place of lesser importance at the moment, um, where God's uh, you know using uh, the Gentile element of the church of the body of Messiah to accomplish his plans and purposes until such a time as he brings Israel back into the main focus. So um, those are things we're going to be looking at.